Let's talk about higher dimensions since you brought it up. That's a very valid question. What about higher dimensions? So geometric vectors as we define them do not exist in higher dimensions. That is again your, and I'm not criticizing it, I'm just recognizing it, your component way of thinking. Because when you hear vector, you're just like, yes, I accept Pavel's view that vectors are just geometric, uh, geometric directed segments or arrows. But I also know that it's a triplet of numbers, right? And if it's a triplet of numbers, it could be a quadruplet of numbers and then an entiple of numbers. And so now I'm in Rn. And everything that Pavel's saying, or oh, feels so stupid referring to yourself in third, <laughs> in third person, and everything that the professor's saying, uh, you know, can just be generalized to Rn. But the way we're really doing it, where we say a geometric vector is just the directed segment, and let's just treat it as such, and ignore other ways in which it could be described, then it really does not generalize to higher dimensions. It is limited to three dimensions. It can be along a straight line, on a plane, or in space. And it, speaking for myself, my brain is not capable of going to higher dimensions. And it's when you go into the component space, and then every vector is represented by a triplet of numbers, then we have absolutely no problem going to higher dimensions, because we just have to have more numbers in a column. Does that make sense? And then generalizing to higher dimensions becomes irresistible and quite frankly straightforward. And you can think about, you know, how everything carries over and everything does if you do it in a disciplined way. But what we're discussing, geometric vectors, do not generalize to higher dimensions. That's just another thing to embrace, right? It's very, it's very unexpected for you guys given your Cartesian training. Right? That's just another thing to let go of. Right? This is, everything is limited to three dimensions. That's a limitation of the pure geometric way of thinking. And, you know, that's why this is not the end-all be-all of differential geometry. Of course we're going to go to higher dimensions, but we can only do it once we're in component space, not when we're dealing with geometry. You know, if you think about Archimedes, you know, he squared the sphere, or cubed the sphere, but he didn't do it with a higher dimensional sphere, or Euclid, right? They never went beyond three dimensions, because it's a different world. Good? Okay.